All right, we're here in Redmond uh, at Microsoft's headquarters with Dean Hakamovich, the general manager of the Internet Explorer team. Hey, Todd. Hey, Dean. So what are you going to show us today? So what I want to, uh, what I want to show you is the IE9 platform preview. And specifically, I want to show you an example of how a standard issue web page using uh, standards markup, HTML, CSS, can directly take advantage of the hardware on your PC uh, through the operating system and, and, and what that means to you as a consumer. So this is essentially a glimpse of what we're going to be getting in Internet Explorer 9. This is a glimpse at what you'll get uh, in Internet Explorer 9 and what developers will be able to do with their websites. And so I'm gonna, the, the example I'm going to show you has a bunch of spinning logos and images just to show two browsers side by side. We'll start over here. Uh, this is another browser, and there's its logo. And you'll see that it's trying to follow my mouse. And as I move my mouse down, all those logos, all those images are going to try to follow me. And as I move to the side, maybe they'll spin around, and they're trying very hard. And over here you'll see I've got 36 images, and it's going about 8 or 7 uh, frames per second. Uh, now over here on the left, I'm going to move my mouse over, and here's Internet Explorer 9. And you'll see that it's a lot zippier. As I follow my mouse, wow, that is just responsive. As I move over to the side, it, it spins a lot faster. In fact, it's going around 60 frames per second. Um, one way to imagine this, because I know people don't usually spin logos around at home that much, <laughs> is imagine that this is a bunch of your photos or a bunch of videos that you're trying to decide, well, which movie should I go see? And what's my web experience? Is it just a list and a bunch of static images, or, or can, the, can the website animate them in, in powerful ways? Let's make this a little bit more challenging. Why don't we actually uh, increase this, and let's say uh, go up to about 100 images, and you'll see that it's still super responsive. In fact, I can you know, come over here and I can decide to zoom in or zoom out. And whoa, that's very <laughs> large, and I can spin them around very fast. That's a little closer to the IE logo than I'd than, like to than be. Than you'd actually. ever want to be, I guess. Yeah, and now I can come over here and let me increase this up to 100 images. And you'll see that it's not quite as fast. And, you know, again, we're going we're gonna to give it some time to try to catch up to the mouse there. Again, this is an example of the kind of performance increases you can expect to see with a GPU-powered, or really hardware-accelerated uh, browser uh, at your disposal. Good. So I was just going to ask, so how is that happening? How is the browser accessing the GPU? Okay, so uh, first, the GPU is the graphics processor inside of your PC, and if you've bought a PC in the last couple of years, whether you know it or not, you do have a GPU on there. They're not just for, for games and gamers. The, the thing that's amazing about a GPU is that it makes anything related to graphics going up on your screen happen just fantastically fast. That's part of what's spinning these E's around so quickly. And what's amazing about it, having a GPU on a computer is that so many things can happen so much faster. Uh, playing DVDs, for example, if you have a hardware decoder on the machine, uh, or uh, uh, rendering photos uh, uh, can happen much faster. And what Internet Explorer 9 does is it takes all the standard markup that uh, websites have, just all the standard HTML and CSS, and it, it calls on more modern Windows APIs. And by calling on Windows, and uh, by calling on Windows, it gets to use all the power of the hardware on your PC. And what you win uh, as someone with a computer is that the billions of dollars of R&D that go into making PCs really well um, well performing, having, having great performance, uh, you get to experience all that in your web browser as you browse the web. Good. All right, Dean. Well, thanks very much for showing us that. Thanks, Todd.